Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up price based shipping and weight based shipping in WooCommerce using a free plugin. This plugin allows you to charge either by price in the basket or the total weight. To get the flexible shipping plugin go to plugins, add new and we're going to do a search for flexible shipping and this is the one we want by WP Desk install now activate once activated you'll see flexible shipping in your plugins now what we need to do is go to WooCommerce settings I'm going to go to shipping you can press the X on this message to get rid of it or you can allow it. I'm going to allow it because I want them to make it better. We're going to add our shipping zone. Press add shipping zone. I'm going to create one for the UK. So I select zone name UK. Select the regions. Type in United Kingdom. Press save changes. And we want to add a shipping method. We want to add flexible shipping. Press add shipping method and then we want to go into edit so we've got it flexible shipping you can set whether you want to tax it or have no tax and we want to add new this is the next screen you'll see what we're going to do is enable this shipping method I'm going to give it a title I'm going to call it cost based shipping because it's based on how much price is in the basket and we're going to use the calculation of sum so it's going to add up the total cost and work it out from there then we move on to our formula I can set it to be based on price so you could set your minimum and maximum values or you can set it on weight so you could have a minimum weight for now I'm going to create one based on price so minimum price is going to be one pound maximum price if I put that as £9.99 cost per order this is where you can put in your shipping amount so I'll try £2.50 and then if I want to insert another rule like I said it's price so if the customer spends £10 and a maximum of £19.99 we can charge them £5 shipping and I'll add one more rule based on price so if the customer spends £20 the maximum of say 1000 then you can set it to say free shipping for example and press save changes so one pound to nine pounds 99 costs two pound 50 to ship if it's 10 pounds to 20 pounds it's five pounds to ship and if it's 20 to a thousand pounds we can set it to free so you could customize that to whatever suits your shop or store you could also change it to weight so it could be like weight of one kilo to nine or ten kilos is that and when you're done press save changes what we're also going to do is set the description that the customer is going to see so I'll call this cost based shipping and with this if you hover over the little question marks you can enter the minimum order for free shipping that will override the cost below so technically you wouldn't need to put in the 20 to 1000 pound one I could put that in up here if I wanted to but I'm just doing it on the table because I can see it's there visibility options I want to show to everybody so I don't want to tick that we want to make sure it is default for the cart I tick that and then I save my changes when you're doing shipping it's always worth testing that it's working correctly so I'm just going to order a £10 item add to basket this is good it's showing the correct amount of shipping so it's showing five pounds of shipping. If I was to increase the quantity, update basket, we've now gone up to 20 pounds, so our shipping should be free. I could then put in my address, so we can see the free shipping is working. If you want to remove the second bit where it says cost-based shipping, all you've got to do is go into your settings and just remove the method description. Save and next time you go into the checkout it will be gone I'm just going to refresh it now so this is how you hide this bit 
There we go, and that's disappeared. If you found this video helpful, please check out my other videos. I've got one called Learn WooCommerce Basics Fast, and that covers a lot of tips that I use all the time that I think you guys will find really useful. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.